What's up, everyone? We are less than a day away from season four Diablo 4 starting, and I want to create a quick video on the best leveling tips in order for you to get to level 100 quickly. Now, I do want to say this video is not intended for speed. It's intended for efficiency. I personally don't care about how quickly I get to level 100, but I do want to level quickly and efficiently. So if you're looking for an efficient way to level to 100, I recommend you follow these steps. Now, for season four, I highly recommend that you take the following steps. Number one, obviously you wanna create a seasonal character. And the most important thing, since they have buffed all the world tiers by 50%, I strongly insist, not suggest, insist you start on World Tier 2. World Tier 2 used to be a 20% XP buff. Now it is a 50% XP buff. So you'd be wise to start on World Tier 2. So once you start, create a character, you get into World Tier 2. Obviously, there's going to be a seasonal quest line. So obviously you need to complete this quest line. Now progress on that seasonal quest line until it asks you to gain Iron Wolf Honor, and you'll be farming that in the Helltide. Now, Helltides, that is something that you're gonna hear a lot. And in season four, the most efficient way of leveling is by far, and it's been tested by a ton of people, is the hell tides. So you're gonna be running hell tides. The other beauty of season four and the changes is leveling has gotten easier, quicker, faster, and there aren't, there isn't going to be a different go here, go do strongholds, go run. It's a very simple strategy when it comes to leveling in season four, and it's basically hell tides. So start in world tier two, create a character, do obviously the seasonal quest now if you're a solo player not a problem but if you do have friends or you are part of a clan i suggest you group up and do the hell tides with a group because remember hell tides is great because even though you're in with other players doing the hell tides the enemy HP does not scale with the number of players in your group. So you'd be wise to take advantage of this. You'll kill everything quicker and you'll still get the same amount of XP. So get into Helltides and you keep grinding Helltides in World Tier 2. Now, in between the five minute gap of Helltides, go into town, salvage your group your gear, sorry, do the class quest or do, if you're looking for a specific aspect, go do the dungeon for that specific aspect for your specific build. Now you wanna continue this rotation until you hit level 35. And once you hit level 35, this is where I suggest you go into your very first capstone now if you're not feeling comfortable at level 35 then obviously continue to rinse and repeat the hell tides until you get to the level that you're comfortable with 36 38 40 but 35 to 40 is where typically most players will go into the first capstone so keep running the hell tides until you're in the, in the level that you feel comfortable with i personally will be going in at level 35 now Remember, before going into your very first capstone, actually do this before you go into every capstone throughout this leveling process, is you obviously wanna temper your base gear and you wanna level up your weapon as much as possible. Prior to going into the capstone, you wanna be nice, strong, and sturdy going into the capstones every time. So make sure you're utilizing and upgrading and tempering your weapon to make sure that you can complete the capstone. Okay, so at level 35, you're gonna go into your first capstone. Once you complete it, 
you are now going to go into world tier three. Now, remember, you're level at level 30. They've dropped the minimums on items dropping. So, for example, at level 35, sacred items will now begin to drop. So this is a perfect time for you to go complete the capstone, go into world tier three, and now sacred items will begin to drop. Okay, so we're in world tier three. Now, remember, world tier three used to be 100% 100 XP buff. Now it's 150 XP buff. And you can start world tier three as early as level 35 to 40, depending on your comfort level. Now, once you are in world tier three, guess what? Same strat, rinse and repeat. Go run the hell tides in between the five minute gaps of the hell tides spawning. Go into town, salvage your gear, temper, run any dungeons, like I said earlier, that you need aspects specific, specific to your, uh, your uh, setup. And also whispers, if you can get whispers done at the same time, concentrate on that. You know, you can kill two birds with one stone while you're doing the hell tides. Be cognizant of that. And we are now at world tier three. You're, you're leveling up. You started at level 35. Once you get to level 55, this is where, this is the earliest you can go into the next capstone to go to world tier four. So once you hit level 55, you can now again go into the second capstone that'll get you into world tier four. Now again, depends on your comfort level. If you're not comfortable, continue to rinse and repeat hell tides, salvage gear, et cetera, et cetera. And anywhere between 55 and 60 is typically the range where players will go into the second capstone and the other beauty of it is once you hit level 55, now ancestral items will begin to drop. So again, level 55, do the capstone, ancestral items drop, you complete the capstone, and now you're in world tier four, where it's a perfect setup for ancestrals to start dropping for you. So again, level 55, second capstone, and before doing that capstone, I'm going to repeat myself over and over because I want to make sure you do it right. Make sure you're tempering what you need to temper, setting yourself up for success, and you're leveling up that weapon as much as you can prior to going into the second capstone. Okay, so you're level 55 or 60, depending on your comfort level. Once you're in world tier four, I hate to tell you, but it's the same thing. Rinse and repeat, hell tides, complete whispers, during the downtime, you have five minutes. Again, go into town, salvage your gear, temper, upgrade weapons, hand in your whispers. Now, as you're doing this, you're starting at uh, level 55, world tier four. Once you hit around level 70, because you don't want to start nightmare dungeons too early, you want to start running Nightmare Dungeons at around level 70. Now, remember, Nightmare Dungeon level 41 is when 925 item gear starts dropping, okay? So while running Nightmare Dungeon Dungeons, you're also leveling your glyphs. Also, another benchmark is Nightmare Dungeon level 46. Once you complete a Nightmare Dungeon level 46, Ruin stones start dropping. So farm nightmare dungeons, get some ruin stones, and when you're comfortable, try the pit. Now remember, monsters in the pit will be level, will start at level 100. Uh, but the pit grizz gives great XP, and again, 925 loot drops. So this is basically the best method to level to 100 the most efficiently now there are some players the most efficient the speedrunners of the game that are going to get to level 100 as quickly as 10 hours nine hours okay these guys they're playing in groups they know the runs they know the strat and they're going to be able to do uh, get to level 100 
in 10 hours. Yeah, you heard me right. Under 10 hours. This is how much the game has sped up from a leveling perspective. There, I doubt there's going to be anyone that's not going to be a level 100. If you're going to grind this game effectively, you are going to reach level 100 very quickly. Now, for me, I could care less how long it takes me to get to level 100, but I do care, like I said earlier, about the efficiency. So this is the strat I'm going to follow. And if you're a player that's playing Diablo 4 Season 4 and you have limited time when you can play this game, I highly suggest you follow this strategy Hell tides are going to be your friend and also the quickest way to level 100. Anyway, that is the best strategy for leveling in season four. I hope this video helps you out. And regarding season four, if you want to join a guild, I will be creating a Diablo 4 season four guild. Come on to my live stream. I stream every evening. I will be playing and streaming Diablo 4 Season 4 every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Come on over there. And if you want to join the guild, hop on in. We'll get you into the clan and uh, the guild, whatever. I forget what they call it. And uh, you can hop on and play with the community. It's going to be uh, hopefully a fun season. It's definitely going to be a quick uh, leveling season that is for sure and for those of you that like leveling multiple characters i couldn't think of a better season for it this is like i said earlier by far the it's going to be the fastest leveling season by a country mile anyway i hope you found this video informative and if you could like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate it help grow my channel we're going to be pumping up, pumping out, sorry, a lot of Diablo 4 content. We got a new season starting in less than 24 hours. So I can only imagine everything that's going to come out of this season. I'll be telling you about it. That's for sure. Thank you for watching. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It'll help grow my channel. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.